Oh, welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on the Ravenhurst mod. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are picking up uh, pretty much right where we left off. It's only been about a minute or so since I left you in the last episode. It's uh, almost 2 p.m. in the afternoon, but the goal for today's episode is to go to the desert. So we need to make sure we're ready to do that. And so what I'm going to do is um, if we take a look at our... Uh, no, I was in the right place. If we take a look at our stats. Does this game tell us what our cool... Uh, yeah, okay, cold and heat resist. So right now we have 20 heat resist uh, with our current setup. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple things. We're going to wear this. Um, we're going to modify this with the cooling mesh mod. And we're going to put uh, this on our helmet. Okay? So with all of that stuff, now let's see where we are. We are... Uh, we got 54 heat resist. So hopefully that'll be enough for us to at least not get into the red. How much difference is it going to make if we also put these on? Uh, so that gives us 57. That gives us three more points. Yeah, I mean, three more points. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, we'll keep these, you know, this clothing, of course, um, for later once we're not in the desert. But uh, that should get us, you know, do us pretty well for the desert. Okay, so we're going to need a pickaxe. And uh, also, I hit mining tools 20 in the last uh, episode when we were doing those dig quests, and I just didn't, um, I forgot to show you guys that. So where is my pick? Okay, there's the pick. So we have an iron pickaxe. We have the ability to repair it one time. Um, let's see. What does that take? Is that just a normal repair kit? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, and I happen to have a couple of those. So let's grab... No, not in the food box. Uh, let's grab those repair kits so we can repair this once while we're using it. Um, we, uh, our shovel is getting kind of low too, but I have uh, some primitive repair kits for that. So we should be okay on the tools that we need to get this done. Unless we decide to make the scrap shovel, which we can do now. Uh, scrap shovel, what does that require? Oh, we have to actually take the point first, which we don't have. Ah, okay. Yeah, see, so we, we got uh, mining tools 20. We hit it, so which means we can now buy scrap tools, but we have to wait till we hit the next level. Um, and really, it's only going to help us with the shovel because... We already know how to make the iron pickaxe because we took the mining class. So I'm, I don't know if I'm even going to take that point, to be honest with you. I'll have, I have to still think about it. The advantage of using the stone shovel is, you know, it uses way less stamina than the other stuff, even though it, you know, doesn't get you so much stuff. So, you know, plus we have a, still have a pretty high quality stone shovel at the moment. So I think we're just going to continue using that. Let's make sure that we are well equipped for the desert in terms of food and water. So um, we're going to bring a full stack of red tea with us. And we're going to drink one of those right now. Um, let's see, we need to refresh our bug thing too. So let's do that right now while I'm thinking about it. Okay, and then we'll do this. Nice little sand effects there. So as far as food goes, we're in decent shape on food just because we got so much canned food, you know, from uh, from doing all those quests. The um, the, the I, I kind of don't like to use the canned food just because of the fact that, you know, we can make better stuff with it later. But here again, we kind of need to take care of ourselves here and now. So let's just take, uh, man, I don't know, let's take... We have the two beef rations. I, I just plain need to go fishing. That's all there is to it. Can I make two bug uh, insect jar things? Because that's... I think that would give us, what, 20 food a pot, uh, for both of them? Let's see. Um, we need fuel. Let's uh, just put these boards in here. I will be working on getting the horde base ready uh, during the day on 28. Can I make two of these? I can, shit, I can only make one. Man, those are so expensive. Or short, one friggin' insect. Can you believe that? Okay, well, more for later, I suppose. Let's also grab all of these out of here and grab all of our tea leaves and make a whole crap bunch more of tea. So we can make 29 more red tea and... Oh! Uh, okay, hold on a sec. Let's make some goldenrod and then some red tea. 
So I'd like to have a little goldenrod too, and that still gives us, well, look at the sky, goodness. Uh, that still gives us 23 more of those for later when the time comes. In fact, we still have, we have some water there too, so um, let's make a few more. And then we're going to be in really good shape for beverage for, for quite a while. Just because I, you know, I, I spent the time going out and just picked a whole bunch of, of leaves and stuff. Okay, so I think we're good on um, f uh, uh, on beverage. For food, let's see, what does this give us? That only gives us five per. Uh, these give us 15. Those give 15. Um, we could make one thing of jerky with this. But, I don't know, I wonder if we're further ahead to make grilled meat than the jerky. Yeah, let's just make some grilled red meat. Oh, we can only make one piece, though. Yeah, okay. Man, that, that will forever bother me about this game. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. <coughs> okay, so uh, we got to get going, man. We are running out of time here. I think uh, we're good to go. So we've got uh, this for food. No, wait, what? Let's bring these for food. And and we'll bring the the meat here too. That should that should get us by. All right. I I don't know if I told you this or not, but we did go. I want to look at one other thing. Okay, so we have 27 frames and a bunch of cobble, so that should be enough for the for the fix up of the horde base. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry, I had a little little burp issue there. <clears throat> um. What was I going to say? Oh, I think I told you that I had to run back over to this town to the gas pumps and get more gas. Um, and so, yeah, we had to do that. And now we're going to head to the desert and get our own supply of oil shale. And that way we can make our own stuff. Okay, what do we need to do? We need to head north. Oh, yeah, let's go down this street and then we'll head north. Okay, so I'll see you guys at the desert. All right, we are here. So uh, we have two goals. That is to get a whole bunch of aloe and to mine up some oil shales. So let's start walking around and picking the aloe. And hopefully in the process, we'll come across an oil shale deposit, uh, which I'm sure we will because it's usually pretty easy to find. And then we'll mine that up too. We should get some yucca while we're here too. Why not, right?
Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, well, anyway, um, yeah, I'm awake now. So, as you can see, I'm, I'm taking advantage of the early part of the evening while it's still somewhat light and not super, super foggy to get a few more uh, resources here from the desert. Um, but as soon as it gets, like, major dark and, uh, you know, the, all, the fog comes in where we can't see in front of our face kind of thing, you know, then we'll uh, wrap things up. And as long as I, you know, stay by close to the mini bike, we should be able to get away from anything that attacks us. But so far, I haven't actually seen any zombos yet, which sort of, sort of kind of surprises me, but I'm sure they're coming. So yeah, we got a pretty good haul of... Uh, oh, that's the trader there, isn't it? You know what? I think this map is the same pre-gen map that, you know, one of the original pre-gen maps for alpha 19 because i recognize this desert i've i've been in this desert before there's features of it that are, are like really familiar to me um and so i think that it, you know it's just one of the pre-gens but then you know what the ravenhurst pois added to it uh, because i know you know this trader was here before i don't remember which one of my my seasons i did uh on this pre-gen map but yeah uh, let's go take a quick look and see what's going on with Trader Joel here. And that's destroyed, so we'll just get the stuff out of it. That's destroyed. Oh, what's this? Scrap armor repair kit. Okay, I already have some gun repair kits. And this is destroyed. Okay, let's uh, wrench these things. Might as well, right? I'm getting dangerously encumbered here. Okay, let's just run up here really quick. Okay, we got a Zombo. Um, I don't want them destroying this place, so we need to get to our bike and... I don't know, we might have to come back later because I don't have any room left in the bike unless I can stack a couple things. So yeah, let's um is she gonna come around the corner there? Let's just do this really quick. Yeah, see that didn't hardly get us any space back. Alright, well you know what? We'll just have to come back and visit Trader Joel later. Uh now that I know that he's here. Is she gonna come around the Yeah, she is. Okay. Well, I know where he is. So I'll I'll bookmark him later. There's some more um oil shell there too. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and well, you know what we could do? Nah, we're, t we're too encumbered. We're too encumbered. So we're going to head home um, and get this, uh, all this stuff. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think it's the, I, I'm sorry, I, I lost my train of thought there for a second. I think it was the episode that I, I built the, or the series rather, that I built the big underground pit. Um, and I had a base up on a mountain, which... I believe was the last vanilla series that we did on seven days. I think not 100% positive, but I think that's where we were on this map. So I'm actually familiar with this map. I just didn't realize it until I got to the desert and recognized the features of it. So anyway, uh, I'm going to head back to the base, get some things situated, and then uh, we'll kind of see where our time is as to whether or not we'll, we'll do anything more in this episode. So I'll see you guys back at the base. All right, guys, it is morning. I spent uh, the night. Hold on, let me adjust something here. I uh, spent the night just doing, you know, some organization stuff and that sort of thing. Uh, we are going to, the very first thing we're going to do here on day 28 is make sure our horde base is ready. And then depending upon how much time we have, uh, we might, um, you know, have some time to, to do a POI or something like that. Uh, let's get our graphics thing set up here first. So let's see, GFXST budget zero look at me and my bad self remembering that see that should turn good okay got that done uh once morning hit i had to uh, actually exit out of the game for a little while and so i just restarted it and uh, yeah so it's 4 14 in the morning so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab uh, a bunch of cobblestone here 
I've got 31 frame, wood frame blocks, which should be plenty. And I've also uh, been working on making some uh, iron ingots. You know what, though? We need to see where we're at with arrows because arrows, once again, will be our main weapon for tonight. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this. Okay, so we have 29... Uh, not that. We have 29 more arrows here and 63 more here. So I think we're going to need to make some more arrow heads and we're going to need to make some more arrow shafts. So let's grab the feathers there. We're going to need sticks. Uh, so let's go over to this workbench here. And oh yeah, I, I made some alacrim, so we need to make some bandages. So let's see, we can make a total of 35 arrow shafts, but I think we get, how many do we get per? Is it two? Yeah, so... Uh, that's actually seven, uh, 68 more. So yeah, let's just turn all those into arrow shafts. Have some spiders still hanging around from the night before. Okay, we'll put those there. And then, um, so we have 63 more arrow heads. So we probably better make some more arrow heads too. So let's grab our, uh, where is it at? Here we go. Shut up. Let's grab this and uh, turn here. Cancel that. And I'm just gonna make 150 more arrowheads because um, here iron arrowheads. That's what I'm looking for. Because that's another stack. And so we're gonna need some fuel. There. Okay, so that's only going to take a minute 22. And then when that's done, let's go ahead and resume working on ingots because um, I want to make frogged, <laughs> frogged iron. I want to make, uh, make sure that all of our iron bars are upgraded on the base. Okay, uh, so let's put this in here. Oh, you know what? Let's grab this hammer too. Why not, right? Um, we have a hammer. We might as well use it. So we got the iron bars, and I think... Do I have more iron bars in here? Yes, I do. I have 162. If we end up not having enough... Uh, well, this will allow us to do 23 because it's 10 per. And I think we only have 12 maybe, so we should be we should be okay with that. We should be okay with that. All right, now um, let's grab some cloth out. Will you shut up? Grab some cloth out of here. And let's make some, okay, we got the 70 there. Uh, we'll make some first aid bandages. Okay, that won't take very long. And then this is almost done. So we'll start making arrows in there. We got seven seconds left on those arrows. Okay, while we're cooking up that iron, we might as well continue smelting stuff down into the forge, too. I've got just gobs and gobs of clay now. Okay, let's grab those. Now, oh, did I put I put the arrowheads back? Why did I do that? Why do I do the things that I do? I don't know. Okay, so we'll have you making iron arrows. Now, I'm probably going to want to make another wooden bow because I seriously doubt this wooden bow is going to survive the night um and let's get one of those going too while i'm thinking about it just so it can be cooking up okay so we need wood leather glue and duct tape there's glue doesn't look like we have any duct tape so we're gonna have to make some uh, we needed leather and we needed wood okay do I still have cloth in my inventory? Yes, I do. So we need five duct tape. Oh, we got to do that in here. Okay, so that gets the five duct tape. Let's grab all these bandages here. Okay, can I make the bow in here? Wooden bow, yeah. Um, so let's just craft the wooden bow in here. And hopefully, you know, they have quite a bit more durability than the primitive ones do. 
But what we could do is we could take this one with us too, just in case we do uh, run out. Okay, so we got that going. Let's put a couple things away here. We're going to put all that in there and put the medical bandages down there. We're going to put this stuff back in here. We want to take that with us. Uh, arrows. We wanted to get going on arrows. Oh, wait a minute. Did... What the hell? We used all those arrow shafts up already? Maybe we didn't have as many as I thought we did, because we still have 143 arrowheads left. Okay, um... Well... The problem, or the challenge with that, that doesn't go in there, is we only have one more feather. Is that right? thought I had way more arrow shafts than that, but I wasn't paying attention to it. I was just clicking buttons. <laughs> um, wow, that doesn't give us a bunch of arrows, guys. Did I accidentally put the shafts away not meaning to? Well, okay, maybe we did use them up. I don't know. So I'm not seeing them in there. I'm not seeing them in there. Not seeing them in there. They're kind of hard to see, or at least they're hard for me to see because I'm old. All right, well, um, let's put this stuff in here for now then. Um, if we get time, I might have to go feather hunting because that's the that's the stopping point now on that. Damn it. Okay. Didn't make as many as I thought we were going to. Well, let's go ahead and get... Uh, here, we'll just grab that too. We got the extra bow, but we don't. Let's not keep take that with us right now. We'll just keep this in here. It's too bad we couldn't make bows over a hundred, so we could repair them once, but we can't. So um, that's just the way it is. Okay, we got the hammer. We got everything we need. Oh, oh we need wood. Let's grab a big a stack of wood there too. And you're just not doing anything right now. You're smelting clay. But I think I'm going to turn that off. Okay, let's go over to the Horde base and get it fixed up for Horde Knight 28. There we go again. <laughs> Look at us in our moped self. Yes, indeed. That's so funny. Okay, we'll go up here first. And we shouldn't have repops in here because I put a land cleaning block down. Let's grab our hammer and get the rest of these upgraded to iron. Oh, that needs nails to repair. I'm expecting probably get, you know, cops tonight, so that's why I really wanted to prioritize getting these upgraded. Ah, shoot, we don't have any nails with us, damn it. <clears throat> all right, well, we're going to have to go back and get some of those. Um, all right, I guess that's really all we need to do up here. Um, these, these blocks are very mildly damaged, but not enough to worry about it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get these... Uh, fixed okay let's get take care of Arlene here off with your head we might as well kill Baldy here too Okay, let's go back inside here. Now. Seriously? I need mortar to repair these? Oh, man. Nothing's ever easy. All right, what do we need to do to make mortar? I, look, I looked at it once in a while ago, and it seemed like it was a huge pain in the ass. 
Cobblestone, crushed sand and murky water. Ah, crap. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to do that. So let's let's do this first, though. Let's get these uh, blocks back in place. Um, we're going to do these first. Okay, how many does that give us? That still gives us 17 frames. Okay. Um, it might not be a bad idea to leave this open so they can move through there. Uh, I guess we could fix that up. Let's put a block there and a block here. Right? Yeah, okay. All right, let's get this stuff upgraded. Okay, so we got that done. Um, we're going to need to bring some nails back to finish that guy, and then we need to make the mortar. So let's head back out, grab our bike, and go get that done. Uh, I don't really have a lot of murky water, so we're going to have to make that first. And unfortunately, it's not as simple as just dipping some jars in the lake because we have to run it through the purifier thing first to make it actual murky water. I guess... Uh, the Ravenhurst developers uh, are afraid, maybe, of concrete getting infected. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just seems a little silly, but whatever. If that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. So let's grab ourselves some nails uh, right here. We'll just grab all those for now. And uh, I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab this little bit of concrete, too, just because we had a couple concrete blocks there that we could uh, potentially fix up. So let's do that. And then, let's see, we're going to need sand, we're going to need cobble, and it was it was just the murky, right? Yeah, and then this has to be done, apparently, in the workbench. So, son of a gun. Okay, murky water. Let's see, we're going to need to grab some jars. So let's grab about half of those jars for the time being. Yeah, I just, I don't see any other murky water. Okay. And we're going to have to go fill them up. Why am I so heavy exactly? Because we have a bunch of stuff in our inventory. That's why. Let's put some of that away. And how's our food? Yeah, we could stand to eat this now. Let's do it. Oh, you know what? The other thing we got to do is we got to go make our oil shale. Completely forgot about that. <laughs> it was the first thing I was planning on doing uh, when we started up again. Let's see. So, yeah. Let's do that also while we go get some murky water. So we can get the murky just right right in the backyard here with this well. Okay, so we got the poison or the contaminated water, whatever the hell it's called, there. Let's get that going in the in the filtration unit before we go get the oil shale going. All right, so to make the murky water, uh, let's see, we have a total of 63. So let's put uh, a little bit of that in there. So we need 12 and a half minutes of burn time. Whoops, that's a little too much. One, two, three, four. There we go. I want to save the rest of this for making the oil shale. I don't think I have any more coal. Let's, if I did, it would be in here. No, it doesn't look like it. What's that? Carbon. Okay. So whilst that's cooking up, let's go get the oil shale cooking up at the trader in, in his Kim bench. Oh, crap, we have to have empty gas cans, too. Um, well, we got those, but we're going to need more than just that. 466. We need a 1,000? 
What? Okay. Let's just go back and grab everything that we have. Okay. So we can make three batches of this, and it's going to take 13 minutes. Okay, we need the murky water. We got 25 murky water so far. All right. Let's see how much mortar we can make. Twenty? Uh, no, seventy-eight. Okay. We'll put those in there. So, you guys who are Ravenhurst veterans, um, tell me, do you, have you found? it easier to just get gas by doing the gas pump thing um assuming you know you have a decent amount of gas pumps around i mean i've got five i've had four or five here and then there was a bunch more in this town too which would it which would be another good reason why we should consider moving to this town um if the gas pumps are you know are the better way to handle it uh, i don't know because here's the thing, I mean, once we do get an auger, then I could go get a shitload of oil shale, but it might be the the gas cans themselves that's the, the choke point on that. Or the bottleneck, I don't know. Anyway, I'd be curious to hear what you guys have to say about that. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to wait for this. And we need to wait for this. Let's grab, let's make a couple, uh, queue up a couple more. So we, can we make that in here too? Yeah, okay. All right, well, I'm going to grab... Uh, let's just grab what we currently have and see how far we can get. Probably not super far. Okay, we got that done. So which one of these is in the worst shape? That one's in pretty bad shape. That one's in pretty bad shape. Oh, that only required one mortar. Or maybe this isn't so bad after all. Okay, so that takes care of all the bottom pieces. Um, top pieces. We got that one. That one doesn't actually really even need to be there. Uh, we have one there. Okay, so we're out of mortar, but I have a lot more cooking up. So yeah, that's not. I guess that's not so bad. Let's uh, touch this up with a little bit of concrete that we have. This is a really nice corner for them to go into because then they kind of get stuck and I can just, you know, wail on them from there. All right, guys. Well, I think we got the horde base, um, you know, as, as fixed up as we can as we can do, you know, with the limited resources that we have. Um, we could... We could try and fix that up just because it's a supporting pillar and um okay let's kill this dude what about this here okay we'll fix that up that's not worth fixing up because it's too far gone oh that's what i like to see that's what i like to see all right, any other critical pillars here? Uh, that's, I, I want them to be able to clearly get through here. So let's get this out of the way. That one could use a little bit of touch up if we have enough material. Okay, and then this is not too bad over here. I'm not uh, expecting this building to hold up forever. Yeah, I mean, not without us, you know, starting to do some repairs and stuff on it. The only reason I'm able to do this at all right now is just because we already had a little bit of concrete that we had looted. So, okay, well, I think it's probably going to be about as good as it's going to get. I'll, I'll get the rest. Oh, I should have hit that too. I'll get the rest of the, um, the mortar, you know, once it's done and finish the couple of things up here that we need to do. Uh, but I'm, I'm hoping it'll hold up, you know, for Horde 28, but like I said, we, this little setup as it currently is, is probably, 
not going to last us forever. But a lot of the, the design of this base depends, too, upon my ability to kill them. So, you know, as we get better guns and stuff, uh, we, we could still, you know, use it maybe for a couple more Horde Knights. I don't know. We'll just see. I'm just not used to Ravenhurst's hordes, and I don't know how nasty they're going to start getting. So far, they really haven't been any worse than vanilla hordes from what I've seen up to this point, you know. So, I don't know. I Knowing this mod, though, they're probably all of a sudden going to turn really bad really quick. Uh, we'll have to see. Okay, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here, and... um. I'm going to, well, and let's try one more thing before I let you go. I want to see if there's a couple more things I could sell just to make enough money to get that pistol. Because if we can get the pistol, then we can actually use that on the Horde Knight too. Because I have a pretty decent amount of 9mm ammo. I mean, we've got over two full stacks of 9mm. All right, so what can we part with in terms of selling? I don't know if I want to sell anything out of there. I'm almost certainly don't want to sell anything out of here. This we could sell because, again, super easy to get. What else in here is super easy to get? We could sell, like, say, half of those. We could sell some of the mechanical parts. Um, we could sell the military armor. I'm just not too concerned about that right now. Um, steel polish. Oh, wow. Goodness gracious. It's going to be such a long time before we're going to be able to even think about steel polish. And by the time that rolls around, we're going to need to make it in massive bulk anyways. Flour? <laughs> okay. I wonder how much we get per, you know, per batch. But, you know what? We need the money right now. Um, so I'm going to sell. I don't know if I'm going to sell all of those, but I'm going to sell some of them. We got a little cash there. And then let's grab our coin. Okay. We should be able to get this pistol now. Let me drop a couple things off here. Is this door broken or is it just open? Oh, it's just open. Well, damn near ready to break. <laughs> okay. All right, let's sell um, the stuff that we definitely don't mind parting with first. Okay, and then he'll give us 55 per. 1,600 for the whole thing. Um, okay, well, we should have enough to buy the, the pistol now anyway. So there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we finally have a pistol. It's been a long time friggin' coming, man, hasn't it? Uh, we could also buy the muzzle brake mod, um, which would give it a little more beef. I'm trying to think, do I have any kind of a gun mod? Yeah, I think I have like an auto trigger or a semi-auto trigger mod, which we should be able to fit on here. I, I, I don't want it for that purpose as much as I want it to just give it a little more damage output. Uh, let's look at what mod you have here. Oh, man, we should be buying this, huh? We should be buying that. Shoot, I should have... I wished I would have paid attention because he resets tomorrow. That would have been good to get. Um, shoot. Okay, well, I don't think I can raise 3,400 gold between... for the rest of the day before the Horde Knight starts. If we sold the, all of these, that would give us 20... That would get us close. If I did a couple of quests, we might be able to pull it off. Having a machete would be wonderful right now. Um, Yeah, let's let's sell that. Okay, so that got, got us to 24. We basically need to raise 1,000 more coin. Um, The other thing that I could do is go wrench a bunch of cars and, and just sell some batteries and engines. Yeah, that's what I ought to do. Okay, well, here's, uh, I'm going to need to let you guys go because this episode's going pretty long. So what I'm going to do, guys, is let's see, what time is it? It's 11.33, so we still have, you know, all afternoon. Uh, but I think I'm going to take the rest of the this day and just go wrench a bunch of cars and get some parts to sell so that I can get the schematic for the machete. Um, and then, you know, then we're going to be in good shape because I can make at least an orange-level machete, which means... And, and I have some steel, right? We have steel right here. 
Oh, geez, I hope I have enough steel. I don't remember how much steel it takes to make one of those. And, uh, and then, so when we start the next episode, it will be Horde Night 28. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, uh, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.